Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for the ancient path. Ask where the good way is. And walk in it. And you will find rest for your souls. Blinded by fury, belief in its immortality, and a lust for power, the demonic beast of the darkness, of ancient past, had sought revenge from millennia of atrocities. But, but, but for all its strength, I, a mere mortal, had not been slain, and so for many days and nights, I fought with the demon in the forest. The Calcut spirit had given me strength and courage to do battle with such evil as this. A final thrust with the Celtic sword, and the beast fell mortally wounded. I emerged once more into the light to continue my journey. I returned once more to the forest, but as I walked the ancient pathways, I soon realized that I had lost my way. The forest became threatening, as dark as night. The moon appeared behind racing clouds. In despair, I cried out. No sooner had I done this, when a voice from the mists of time spoke to me. I am the voice of the spirits. I am the Celtic spirit. The voice came again. I heard it. Be still, and know that I am the Celtic spirit. Which power, which power, I cried. Once again, floating on the breeze, the voice came to me. Do not be afraid. I will lead the way. Follow in my footsteps. Into my hand, a candelabra with three lit candles appeared. And this light guided me back onto the right path. On the way, I gazed on wooden bridges, upon tusks of soft green moss, upon twisted trunks. I saw fallen leaves dance out their days on light reflected waters. When I reached the edge of the forest, I turned to hear the voice once more. I am the voice of the forest. Go safely on your journey. And when you return, know that you will not be alone, for I am the Celtic Spirit.